James and John have just come up to Jesus and asked him to give them the leading positions in his kingdom, which they believe he's about to set up in Jerusalem. Now there's a backlash. When the ten heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Of course, the other disciples are furious at James and John because they got in first with their request to Jesus. All of them wanted to have the best positions in the kingdom Jesus was about to establish. They are in the middle of an angry argument when Jesus intervenes to correct their twisted thinking and teach them how it really is in his kingdom. And what he tells them is shocking to them. And it should be to us as well. He tells them that the notions of authority and hierarchy that we find everywhere in the world don't apply in the kingdom of God. Instead, greatness is measured through humble, selfless, sacrificial service. What is he saying? Well, he's telling them that greatness is measured only in love. Authority and hierarchy is the glue that keeps every human institution together. It's so deeply ingrained in us that it's almost impossible to imagine any relationships, whether personal, social or political, that could exist without them. But where the danger lies is when we see church through worldly eyes, or even worse, when we look at our relationship with God in authoritarian or hierarchical terms. Instead, what Jesus is saying is that the currency of the kingdom is love and freely giving for the sake of another. How might this insight redefine your relationship with God?